fucking Yeah, as I was saying, fucking dickheads everywhere. Fucking dickheads everywhere, you know? And yeah. Yeah, back on the old job. It's always, have, it's always good to have an old job where you can go back to it when you need. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I'm enjoying my day already. Uh, back on the second run today. We're just doing uh, some local work for a local company. Um, today, might be tomorrow too. We don't know. But yeah, so mm, the inevitable happened, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, the things aren't going as we were hoping to go. And uh, if you want the good advice, um, always leave your old job on good terms because you never know when you might want it back. And uh, if you've been a dickhead when you left, you'll definitely not get it back. And uh, I have been a dickhead, like I'm usually, like I'm usually I am, but not not this time when I left. I just told them, look. Uh, I want to start up a business. This is these are my plans. Uh, I would like to keep it on a part-time basis. If you agree with that, and they were like, "Fine, yeah, we will have you, Alex." When you did, just let let us know. And uh, yeah, here I am, still doing what I wasn't hoping to do anymore. <laughs> um, I know there is a lot of controversy around this subject, like HGV driving and stuff like that. Um, and probably a lot of people are asking themselves, or maybe some of you on the viewers, if you should get into this industry. Well, it's not bad overall, despite some people might say that I just, just just cry babies everywhere and people moaning about everything and stuff like that. Um, overall, it's a good job. Obviously, it depends which company you work for as well. And uh, how good you are as a driver, how much experience you have, how open-minded you are and stuff like that. Because you'll get, like, you, you live with the daily abuse from everyone, yeah? Everyone hates lorry drivers. Although, nothing can move without us on the road. Nothing. Everything we get, everything we have, everything we eat, breathe dress, drive, everything. It's been on the back of a lorry at some moment, so yeah. But we're not here to talk about this today. So, should, should you go into the industry? Well, um, one point, now it's good paid again. So the pay rates went up um, since we like uh, political decisions and uh, other bits made a lot of people to leave the industry, including me. I mean, I haven't left completely, but yeah, I'm not full-time anymore. Um, so yeah, well, good pay. You can make like six, seven hundred pounds a week. I don't know if it's this, I mean, for some people might not be enough, but in general, if you leave a warehouse picker job for 350 pounds a week and make double that, uh, we'll be fine. Yeah, or it might not. <laughs> it all depends on your circumstances. Like if I have a family and small kids and stuff like that, and house and things like that, you'll not really enjoy it too much. Or it depends again how well you and your wife are together if you have a wife. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a bit different to have to be now difficult to have a family. This was, was one of the reasons I left it myself. Um, but overall, if you're pushing it hard, you might be making good money. You can make a thousand pounds a week if you want to do nights out and stuff like that. It depends on the company, it depends on the industry. So, they, I mean, don't fail for those advertisers on the internet who says, ah, we can have just became a HGV driver and get paid like 65 pounds a year. You'll never get there. You'll never get to 65,000. Even if you're doing like maximum hours the whole year, <clears throat> nights out and everything, you still like, I don't think you're gonna make 65,000 <clears> because no one is gonna pay you 25 quid an hour on average. So yeah, 
Realistic, I think it's about 45,000 now. You can make 45,000. If you're doing like a five, five days a week, maybe you can do six days a week. And also depends on the type of the job and the company, because some companies are paying by day, some companies are paying by hour. I get paid by the hour. I always got paid by the hour. So um, I would say go for the hour work. Go and get paid by the hour. Don't get paid by the day, because uh, if let's say. 100 pounds a day sounds good. It's not 150 pounds for uh, eight hours. It can be 150 pounds for eight hours. It can be for 10 hours. It can be for 12. It can be for 15. Yeah. So don't fall for that because nah. This task to get paid by hour is the best. Um, yeah. What I don't like about this. Although, as I said, this is good paid, it's well paid, and uh, you can make money if you want to, to, to work. Um, there are the other parts of the job which I don't like recently. I mean, this has been, been a lot of things that have been introduced in the last like five years, I'd say, where a lot of companies uh, went off this, like uh, something similar to Cars Black Box. There's a thing which is called Microlize, and uh, what that thing is doing is just measuring your brakes, your acceleration, your all the movements and all them stuff and just uh, then another guy which works in an office and he never went on the, uh, on the road in his life is gonna explain you how to drive the lorry and all them bollocks and things like me old dinosaurs which we've been since like 15 years ago in the business and some people which there have been 40 years now like the old drivers and stuff they will never take that bullshit over as simple as that you know because I will never accept myself, I will never accept that someone that stays in an office chair all day long and he doesn't even have an HGV driving license to teach me how to drive a lorry, to tell me how I should drive the lorry. Yeah, I know, there is a... Uh, how do you call it? <laughs> it's different when you're on the road than sitting in an office, yeah? There is a theory about it, but it's not. It's nowhere close to what it happens on the road regarding the braking, regarding the acceleration, and all that stuff, right? So, that this is one of the reasons I don't like the industry anymore. Secondly, is the DVSA, which they will just find you for everything. Same with the police. Uh, if you are involved in an accident, although not being your fault, you'll get arrested straight away without any questions. Bang on. If the lawyer is involved. You must be guilty. Simple as that. General Joe Public, uh, they don't love you. <laughs> they never loved us. Like, oh, anyway, just except last year, or like 2020, um, when we became, um, how do you call it? Uh, what the fuck was the name of it? <laughs> Oh yeah, essential workers. So last year, two years ago, we suddenly became heroes, essential workers. People waving on us over the bridges. Oh, thank you for keeping us fed and all the. Let's go over it. Yeah, it was called essential worker because sacrificial was a bit harsh. Yeah, for definitely that was. But we did our job. We kept the country fed. Well, we kept the hospital supplied, so stop putting all that thing on oh, and it, uh, with the NHS being heroes because of that. It's been a general effort from everyone, yeah? Some people got sick with COVID and stuff. They've been in hospitals and stuff like that, but the basics, the, the base of everything came started from lorry drivers. We went to work and we did the job. Simple as that, you know? I don't expect to get any hero cape and stuff like that for that. I just did my job. I got happy that I got paid by more than the people are getting paid in being for Uh Yeah, so I can't have like a straight opinion on if you should become a lorry driver or you should not. I'm just putting some things, some highlights regarding how the job is and how it's today. Um, and you can decide from there. But first of all, don't fall for that advertising with a lot of like companies now trying to get your money from you uh, to do the training and stuff. Because uh, 
it's a lonely job it's a long hours job especially if you're doing class one will be will be long hours job all the time you'll be on the road every day all day long um, sometimes you might not make it home overnight you have to stay night because if you're running out of time obviously you have to pull over the conditions in the services in England and stuff like that are in the they're kind of, kind of the worst in Europe um, if it's late you will not find a parking space if you need the shower the shower will not work um, you'll have to pay for the parking obviously the company will pay it back but we still have to pay for it the food it is how it is you can't get in it nice and fresh unless it's fast food crap um, the roads are busy um, you have to really be careful where you're going and how you're driving because England as well has got a lot of bridges and uh, if we hit the bridge it's gonna be a really funny one for everyone really funny one never did it but I've been <laughs> I witnessed it <laughs> and I know people I used to work with me which they did and uh, yeah it will be really really funny one if that happens um, yeah, it's a stressful job until you get used to it, you know, until you learn the job. I mean, it's a learning curve. You'll never be, you'll never be a perfectionist in this job. It's impossible. But you get experience by time to time in time. You get, let's say you might need like the first year considering it as a learning curve. You learn how to reverse, how to do maneuvers. You learn about the size, the rules and everything, you know, so yeah, that kind of is. And yeah, the business is not closing down. <laughs> um, I will see you back in the yard with a new video. Where, uh, because uh, last month, to be honest, hasn't been bad at all. I managed to do really good profits on only five cars. The volume of sales is not there, but overall the money is... We, we made the money this month. We made tens. And uh, we'll see from there. Yeah, so, yeah, that's a short video from me. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, see you back at the earth. making progress so we did a cambled on the fourth on the blue one on this one uh, because we had some inquiries on it and uh, technically I lost two sales two potential customers on this car due to not having the cambel done so we decided to do it ourselves and advertise it with 100 pounds more we pay like 120 for the parts so it's been all right um yeah we're making we're making progress on the polo it's getting presentable easy easy steady but uh, i kind of saved the carpet so everything is good with it now there's still a lot of work on this one i'll never get a new 
I don't think I'll ever get one like this. Still a lot of work to be done and I spent a lot of time with it already. So yeah, not quite a, the most wise one. But there's still money to be made in it, so why not? I just went around on the carpets with the tornado uh, on the seats. So I just cleaned them all together, all good and nice. Um, tomorrow I'll get in with the wet vac on this as well. Then I'll go inside on the carpet as well, give it, give it an extra refresh. And the interior should be should be nearly ready on this one. But the main issue I have with this one is because of these spots and there is some mold in there. But the problem is there is mold on this and uh, seems to be to be stained. And I don't think how the stains will be coming out on this one. I did make made few few testing spots, but like here, well, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but doesn't seem to be coming out so yeah that might be an issue and here as well i don't know what so, some kind of paint and stuff like that on it got no idea but anyway i'll find a way to make it look nice for now but overall it's getting there it's just cleaning up nice the boat is nice look anyway sunny and stuff like that but that's not the same staying there that's sun how the hell is getting there <laughs> and there's a new number plate. I think it's missing something here. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, kind well, of this is for now. So yeah, we're still still in the business, still struggling to survive there. Um, see you back in the next video. Well, I will make a video about how much money we made last month, and. Um, We'll see what we can make this month and uh, what is new because we have some new cars as well. Um, got new, if I made a video on them, I don't have um, We have two new cars into stock. These two the Kia Seed Automatic and a Ford Grand C Max 7 seater. Automatic as well with the power shift, both full service history, both low owners. Both should should be really easy work on them. The Kia needs a bit of a seat skin cleaning and stuff like that, but they're in really good condition. They just need like a general cleaning and refresh, and that's it. They're good to go. See you guys next time.